Malaysia, my second home program is not yet ready. We are waiting for the details. But Sarawak, my second home program, which is a state in Malaysia, has a separate Malaysia, my second home program that is available already and you can apply now. Let's find out how you can apply for Sarawak, uh, Malaysia, my second home program. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan and I usually talk about citizenship by investment programs, residency by investment programs and different immigration options for digital nomads. Today we are going to talk about Sarawak, uh, Malaysia, my second home program. Malaysia is geographically divided into two areas. The one is mainland Malaysia where Malaysia's capital Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya, and many other states are located. Two of Malaysia states are located on the Borneo Island bordering Indonesia. These two states are Sabah and Sarawak. Interestingly, these two states have different immigration rules. They have some autonomy. You can say they're autonomous uh, states of the Malaysian uh, Federation. So they have actually separate uh, Malaysia My Second Home programs. The, right now, the federal Malaysia My Second Home program is under review and we have to wait a month more in order to see the details of the new MM2H uh, programs but at the same time Malaysia my second home program is active and available right now in Sarawak and also in Sabah so in this video I'm going to tell you about how you can apply for Sarawak uh, MM2H program and what are the requirements how you can apply and how much investment is basically required first of all let's talk about Sarawak as a territory as a state of Malaysia it is located on the Borneo island it is a very beautiful nice place in Malaysia on the island of Borneo beautiful beaches landscapes and also tropical weather the population is just two and six million people on Sarawak state and the area is very big 124,000 square kilometer which is a very very big area let's talk about the Sarawak MM2H program requirements the investment requirements so you have to deposit 150,000 Malaysian ringgits which is equal to 33,000 US dollars in a local bank in Sarawak states okay 150,000 is for a single applicant and 300,000 is for a couple right this must be deposited into a local bank located in Sarawak and this is for people over 50 years of age because there are categories of different ages for people who are 40 and 49 years of old they have a separate condition a separate requirements for this program they can uh, purchase property of 600,000 equal to 600,000 Malaysian ringgits which is again equal to like 130,000 US dollars if you buy 130,000 US dollars worth property in Sarawak then you can also apply for this program if you are 40 to 49 years old you can also apply if your children are enrolled in a school in Sarawak like if you just go to Sarawak state, enroll your children in the school, then you can also apply uh, for this program and you don't need uh, this uh, property requirement. Like you don't need to buy uh, 130,000 worth of uh, real estate in Sarawak. Now the third category of people are 30 to 39 years old. These people can apply for Sarawak MM2H program if their children are enrolled in a school in Sarawak. What you need to do is simply go there, register them in the school and then apply for this program right in Sarawak and you will get it. Your children must be seven years old like more than seven years. And the second option for you is if you are 30 to 39 years old but you have a medical condition which you are treating in Sarawak state like if you need medical attention again and again and you are doing that treatment from Sarawak state then you can still apply for this program. This visa is basically a 10 years visa and it can be renewed in the start you will get five years visa and then you can renew it again and again your passport must be valid for five years if you want the whole five years visa at once in the start now some other things uh, included in this program is that you can withdraw your 40 percent of fixed deposit after two years like if you deposit 300,000 uh, Malaysian ringgit which, which is equal to 66,000 US dollars if you deposit this in a local bank you can withdraw 
40 percent of that amount after two years okay this requirement is for a couple like you and your spouse the very good news for Sarwak my second home program is that you can work legally in Sarwak not in all professions but in some professions you can work legally and you can earn money in Sarwak state of Malaysia you will need to apply for a work permit and you once it is approved then you can work right and second thing is all applicants who apply for Sarwak my second home program they need a sponsor in Sarwak this is very important uh, requirement however if you apply to uh, an official agent then you don't need this uh, sponsor right so there are a lot of agents who will assist you will pay some fees and they will assist you in the application process and then you don't need a local sponsor but if you know someone then you can apply yourself if you already have a sponsor then you can apply yourself the visa uh, fees is very minimum like 500 uh, ringgits a year that's not too much the minimum residency requirement is 30 days in Sarawak state like if you must stay 30 days in a whole year in Sarawak in order to maintain this residency right this Malaysia my second home program for uh, Sarawak state right so this is the thing guys uh, now some uh, eligibility requirements I already told you uh, if you are talking about uh, purchasing a real estate in uh, Sarawak Malaysia then you have to first go uh, purchase the property and once you have the property documents then you can apply through the property option and the property should be like uh, 600,000 ringgits equal right uh, if we talk about the documents you need to provide police character certificate like letter of good conduct for all of the applicants uh, including gender, children or 18 years old and also your spouse now the main thing is how to apply this uh, to this program like how you will submit your application the application must be submitted physically to the Sarwak MM2H program office in Sarwak right who can submit the application you can yourself go there and submit your application or you can uh, take service of an official agent I will put down a link in the description of this video so you can find the list of the official agents and if you apply yourself then you have you must have a sponsor if you apply to an agent you don't need a sponsor right a local sponsor should be in Sarwak not in mainland Malaysia you can apply online no you cannot apply online the application must be uh, physically done right how much time it takes the processing time it takes 90 days like three months if you apply with all of your documents you submit your documents it takes three months for uh, the relevant authorities to do a background check of you to do the due diligence and after that the decision will come for Malaysia my second home program right so that's it guys there are many other doc, uh, many other requirements uh, small information but I will put a link in the description to the official website so you can go there read all the information yourself however the main thing is that you should have the investment requirements and also you should have the main documents like the sponsor and other things if you have any questions you can write down that in the comment section I will answer it there thank you very much for watching I will see you with another video very soon